Well, 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 look who it is. Mr. Amara, my director in crime. How are you today, old friend? Oh my, it seems you have a new charge with you. May I inquire as to how the dearly departed, uh, well, <laughs> departed, I suppose? Old age, you say? Oh, well, at least he had a long and fruitful life, I trust. Did he die surrounded by family? Ah, I see. I always could tell these things, you know. <laughs> hey, I think we should bring him over to the coffin's room. I've got a few special ones imported from mean old coroner. Come along, Mr. Ramara. Do excuse the mess, I've not had enough time to organise my lilies that I've ordered. Oh yes, I like to give the deceased a bouquet of lilies as a sign of respect. <laughs> Wonderful flowers are lilies. Do you know what they stand for? It's rather quite fascinating. According to the language of flowers, Lilies are a sign of purity. Specifically, the purity that's been returned to a soul after it's departed from the body. In some cultures, they're even a symbol of fertility or rebirth. I believe one religion even associates lilies with the Virgin Mary. But I'm not here for the religious side of our work. I know that the religious side of it all is very important to you as a funeral director, Mr. Amara, but, uh, well, it has never interested me. Do you wish to do the makeup for the body while I prepare the bouquet for him? Splendid. Allow me just a moment and I shall have the bouquet ready. There we are, and right in the centre of the chest where it belongs. Oh. If he didn't look at peace before, he looks at peace now. It's almost as if he's started smiling. <laughs> That's just the rigor mortis coming into effect, I know, but... Uh, one likes to imagine, don't they? <laughs> Mr. Amara, would it be okay of me if I came out to you in perfect candor? I've been hiding something that I... I, I just want to kind of get off my chest with you. I, I wish to be honest. Oh, thank you, old friend. Come with me. I have a perfect little room that we can use for uh, our discussion. Uh, there's, a, there's a little hatch somewhere here under the rug. If I... Aha! Oh, sit daisy. Yep, you come. There we go. After you.
Ah, there we go, that's much better. Yes, it's exactly what you think it is, Mr. Amara. This is my humble little meditation room. Oh, I like to come down here every once in a while and uh, clear my head a little bit. Now, uh, Mr. Amara, the, uh, the truth I wanted to uh, impart on you is, uh, well, it's a little bit of a complicated one. Because my name is Isaac Mortis, I I know that you've always sort of associated me becoming a, an undertaker, because, being with the fact that, uh, well, with my name being what it is, it, you would assume that I quite had a fascination with the dead. But uh, the truth of the matter is that actually... It's not just because I had an obsession with the deceased. I decided I was going to get into this undertaking profession because... Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just have to come out and say it, won't I? Uh, it's because I, for the longest time, for as long as I could remember, I can see the dead. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Isaac, you've really lost your mind now. But no, 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 no. I'm serious. I've been able to see him for a while. They actually are quite good company when you're socially shunned throughout school. I am not saying for a moment that you, you weren't a good friend growing up, but I... Uh, I always did get lonely quite easily. You know that. Ugh, God bless those women I pestered back in high school when I was just a needy teenager desperate for attention. <laughs> hmm? Yes, old friend? You... You don't disbelieve me? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Amava, <laughs> goodness me, <laughs> oh, a hug at this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what, what was that? You accept me? <laughs> oh, oh, you lovely soul. I knew you'd understand me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lovely discussion. Oh, I feel quite a lot better now, having got that off my chest. <laughs> hmm? Oh, must you go, Mr. Amara? Just a moment, just a moment, before you go. Let me just gift you with one of these. Yes, I... I wish to give you a lily. I... I know we've been friends forever, but... That, but I really do like you. Thank you for being such a lovely life to me. <laughs> Why, Mr. Amara? Do you have a case of rigor mortis, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> you have a lovely day, old friend. Don't keep me waiting too long. You know I get ever so lonely.